it's Anne from The Useless Crafter and today we are going to be messing around with the Cricut glue gun. Um, some of you may not have heard but Cricut just came out with their glue gun and um, I already got to test it out a little bit so we'll, <laughs> we'll get to the results in a little bit. But um, before we do that, if you haven't already subscribed, please do. I totally appreciate all the support I can get. Okay. Let's look at this gun and I'm going to compare it to my favorite glue gun and we'll see which one works best. All right. So basically no fuss, less mess. The main thing that I saw with about this gun that they are pushing is that this little area right here is silicone and it does not leak. That is the, the main thing, right? So I have some, I'm choosing blacks because I think you will be able to see the, um, the actual glue a little bit better this way. So we're going to use that. Um, one of the, oh, the other thing is there is a light right here that will tell us when this is ready. So when I plug this in, it's going to be orange. And when it's ready, it's going to be green. So give me just one second. I'm going to plug it in. All right. And let's see right here. See, it's orange. And then I'll turn green when it's ready. Um, so you may have noticed that this is it. So um, these two sides are flat. So it just goes down like this. Um, one of the things that I had mentioned on my live is that I don't know how I really feel about that. Like, I don't love that, but let me grab this real quick. So I have a silicone pad, pad that I'm just going to put it on. Um, I always have my Cricut self healing mat on my desk. Always, always, always. Like, uh, I mean, I wash it, I, like I clean it, but it is always on my desk. So it does warp due to heat and that's because i've had my heat press on it before um and so i don't know how i feel about this just like laying like this also on here if you see like where my cord is it kind of slips it, it gets pulled down by the by the weight of this uh cord so i don't love that either because when it's hot i don't I'm not really looking forward to getting burned. <laughs> so, all right, I have my Shore Bonder, and this is what this looks like. So this is red, or yeah, it's red. This is, see, same color, orange, red, whatever. Um, but this stays red when it's heated. Um, all right, what I like about this is while I'm working, because usually I'm holding stuff right here. I pick this up, I glue it together, and then I just put it back down. And it's, I'm not worried about it falling over or not latching on. It is super simple. Oh, look at all that glitter that's in there. Um, basically the two goes, you know, it, it stays. It does have a drip catcher, um, but so far, like I'm good. It's not dripping at all. Um, this is also, I believe, silicone based, so it's not like thought provoking or anything that this is silicone based. Um, oh, it's still not green, but it's pretty hot right now. I just touched this and I was like, ooh. All right. The other thing that I did a comparison is when I looked at this, I felt like this tip, I know it's kind of hard to see right now. This tip is a little bit smaller than this one, but you'll see it when we actually, um, Pull, you know, put some glue out. Um, okay. So I really like this. It's, I just like that it has a stand. I have to be honest. And this tip is the smallest tip that I have found. Um, and just to be fair, I only went through a few glue guns. So it's not like I've tested, you know, 10 of them. I've tested four maybe. So, uh, but once I found this one, I've stopped looking, but I did want to review the Cricut one, so that's why I bought it. All right, um, so let's wait for these. Okay, so this one's green now. You can see it, okay. So, I'm just gonna, okay, that's like a lot, right? So what happens is, once you press down on it, and let me pour, put another stick in. Okay. Whoa, it did drip. Okay. 
I'm gonna try to give you the thinnest line possible right now, okay? And it always does that. I've been testing it <laughs> over and over. That first glob that comes out is such a big glob. And so even if I let up on it, like I'm putting just a little bit, it comes out so much. And that was like barely anything, okay? Once I let up, then it stops coming out. So it's like, it's not really a good, see, it just, it, it drives me insane. Okay, so that's what that looks like, okay? My um, sure bonder is still going. I'm gonna get a new piece of paper. Give me one second. And I do like the black because it really, uh, you can see the glue. So I'm gonna do it again over here so that we have a good comparison, okay? So I'm just gonna do See, as I get lower, it doesn't come out anymore. So this is more of just like a wet line. Look at how thin that is. That's not enough glue. This is more of just like a snail's mark, basically. There's like no glue right there. There's glue right there and right there. And maybe if I did this, you can kind of see. There's just absolutely nothing right here. It's just a mark. This is how thin it is. It's like, just so that you can kind of see. Okay, all right, let's see if this is getting warm. Okay, it's still not super warm, but let me see if I can do it. See that first drop, it's so much thinner and it allows me to pull out. So let me get it a little bit warmer. Let's do another line. So it's, we'll see. See, it drives me crazy. And look it, okay? So I have it pressed down, okay? Cause see where it is? And look, I mean, I have it pressed in, but nothing is coming out right here. Let me show you. This right here is like, that's not glue. There's nothing, it just left a mark, that's all. It's like a pencil mark. It, this is the piece that came out. It's so thin, that's not really glue. It's just, it's like the spider webbing like part, okay? But look how thick that is, okay? Okay, I think this is getting better. See, so this is thin, and look at where my hand is, okay? And so it's about the same. Let me show you again. So you can see everything. See, nothing's, oh, if I'm on my side, okay, let me see. I think the way it comes out when it's on its side, it looks less. But see, look at how consistent that first blob is. It's always like a thick, I, I just don't like it. <laughs> it's too thick. Look at how much thinner that is. So anyway, that's that was my conclusion the first time but I was interested to see if I got better. And it's not like I'm new to glue guns, right? Like I use this one. Pretty good. Look here, it's so thick, but it's consistently thick. It drives me insane. So there you have it. I am not in love with this glue at all. Something that came up during the live is that, well, maybe it's, um, you know, when you need a lot of glue, you want to use it, but it's not enough. Okay, so now I'm going to press full throttle, okay? That's full, which I guess is not that bad, but I kind of feel like it. this is the market for this glue gun. These two are comparable in size. 
if I wanted something bigger, I would go to the next size, which is this one. If I needed thickness, right, I would use the one with the bigger stick, because look at, this is much smaller, and look at, you can't see it, right? It's, it's a thicker, oops, it's just thicker, but let's see. Okay, this hole is bigger than this one. I know it's kind of hard to see. It's not going to focus. But um, I find that I don't really have a good reason to buy this one because it's not precise enough as my Shore Bonder, right? But it's not thick enough to be the next level. So all you're doing is buying a an okay glue gun, I guess. <laughs> All right, let me know if you want me to try out something. I would love to do it, but I just wanted to give you a little down on this one. All right, see you guys next time. Bye.